world's life sciences community face an unprecedented challenge with COVID-19. Our goal is to make treatments available to the entire world and bring a vaccine to market uh, sooner than has ever been done before. And all these companies are relying on, essentially, are their property rights. IP protections really help facilitate medical progress. Uh, they provide incentives to innovators to keep driving forward towards cures. It enables scientists to protect their inventions. And ultimately, without it, I don't think we'd make the advances in healthcare that we have. There are over 850 clinical trials that are going on looking at treatments for, for COVID-19. And every single lead that we have, all of the starting points for the research that we are currently conducting into COVID-19 is based on the IP system. The mere fact that there are approximately 100 new vaccine candidates that are already in various stages of development is a testimony to how well the IP system has worked. But I think there's a false impression that patents are causing a lack of development. There's no incident to this date where patents have hindered uh, the innovative activity we need to beat COVID. Quite, quite the contrary. Companies are speculating on their ability to bring vaccines to market. They're ramping up production on va unproven vaccines as they work to prove them in the lab with plans to do this all within the space of a year or so, they wouldn't do that if they didn't have some security in their investment. Research and development costs for the average medicine is in the billions of dollars. And the reason why the costs are so high is largely due to the very, very high failure rate. Typically, if a drug that's being developed doesn't work, there's no fallback strategy. It doesn't work, it's a lost cause, and every dollar that you've invested in it is lost. And even when you start clinical trials, which is far into the R&D cycle, only about 12% of those substances that begin clinical trials will ultimately end up as a medicine. So to flip that around, 88% of those will fail. The producers, the manufacturers are already preparing to manufacture vaccines that are only now being tested. This requires the kind of investment that the private sector has perhaps never made toward a single goal in such a short amount of time. And all these companies are relying on, essentially, are their property rights. On the collaboration side, it's really the same. We're seeing an unprecedented level of collaboration. These arrangements, these collaborations are being enabled and facilitated by the intellectual property system. The intellectual property system is supportive and actually synergistic with collaborations because we know that it will be protected and that we know that our contributions will be recognized in the end. It takes a lot of different folks to find therapeutic breakthroughs. I see IP as an enabler of that. It enables each inventor to lock in the value from their innovation uh, and to be able to benefit from that in terms of funding future research. The IP system enables people who own IP rights to identify the right partners with the right intellectual assets to collaborate with for the given task in the first place. It also helps the private sector make the decision to contribute everything they can by allaying our concerns about confidentiality. And it frees us up really to open up our compound libraries, to share our platform technologies, and to share our know-how. If it takes all this time, energy, effort, and money, why doesn't the government just do all of this instead? And the answer is really simple. This is all about taking those scientific discoveries made in academia, getting them in the hands of, of industrial research scientists who can develop those drugs and can take them into human beings. It takes a billion dollars to get the first dose of a medicine to market, but it may take pennies to copy that first dose. What intellectual property rights allow them to do is have some security that the next person won't come along and simply copy their innovation. So we never want to make it less secure to invest in a life science company. And that's what taking away IP rights does. It sends a signal to investors. If you put your money here, you may lose it. And we won't be as prepared for the next pandemic. 
So the patent system has worked to get us to this moment where we have a fighting chance to battle COVID-19.